here, here's the thing. We need, we need machines that understand the physical world. We need machines that are capable of reasoning and planning. Uh, we need machines that have persistent memory. And we need those machines to be controllable and safe, which means that they, they need to be driven by objectives we give them. We give them a task, they accomplish it, or they give us the answer to the question we ask, and that's it, right? And they can't escape uh, you know, whatever it is that we're asking them to do. So uh, what I explained in that, in that document is how we might potentially, one way we could uh, get to that, to that point and it's centered on uh, a, a central concept called a world model. Um, so we all have world models in our head, um, mm -hmm. and you know animals do too, right? And it's basically the the mental model that we have in our head that allows us to uh, uh, predict what's going to happen in the world, either because the world is being the world or because of an action we might take. So if we can predict the consequences of our actions, right? Um, then what we can do with that is if we set ourselves an objective, a goal, a task to accomplish, we can, using a world model, imagine whether a particular sequence of actions will actually fulfill that goal. Okay, And that allows us to plan. So planning and reasoning really is manipulating our mental model to figure out uh, if a particular sequence of actions is going to accomplish uh, a task that we set for ourselves. Okay, so that is what psychology is called system two, you know, deliberate, um, sort of, you know, I don't want to say conscious because it's a loaded term, but uh, deliberate process of kind of thinking about um, uh, how, to, how to accomplish a task, essentially. Um, and that we don't, we don't, know how to do really. I mean, we've make, we're making some progress at the research level. Um, a lot of the, a lot of the inter most interesting research in that domain is done in the context of robotics. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. when you need to control a robot, you need to know in advance what the effect of, you know, sending a torque on, a, on, a, on an arm is, is going to be. The, the main issue with this is that in robotics and control theory, the, the way this works, the one model is a bunch of equations that are written by someone, by an engineer. Uh, you want to control a robot arm or a rocket or something, you can just write down the dynamical equations of it. But what we need to do for AI systems, we need this world model to be learned from experience or learned from observation. So this is the kind of process that seems to be taking place in the, in the minds of uh, animals and, and baby humans, infants, um, learning how the world works by observation. That's the part that seems really complicated to, re to reproduce.